now. I'm trying to contain myself. I'm trying to contain myself. But I got to tell you, because when we, when we fast, when we pray, when the late Bishop William Bonner used to say, those that pray can expect a miracle. And I need you to know, hallelujah, that there are miracles in this house, Jasmine. I need you real quick. If you didn't want to talk to nobody, you, you should have just watched on the live streams. I need you to encourage somebody real quick and tell them these words. Say, neighbor, miracles, signs, wonders right now. Trying to see who I, I don't know who came to four o'clock. One more. I'm gonna give you another chance. Look up the other side. Look the other side and tell your neighbor, say miracles, signs, wonders. Tell them say right now. I feel faith rising. It's quiet back there, but somebody gonna catch it after a while. One more time, say miracles, signs, wonders, right now. Tell them, say, on this row, on this row, on this row, on this. Sister Lori. Y'all, so wait, I gotta testify. Bless your praise team. Y'all need to sit down because y'all might need to run. Sister Lori, wave your hand, Sister Lori. Now, yesterday in prayer, I feel you, we prayed and I told the saints to call out the names of your children. I want you even right now, if you have a child, whether they're in the room or across the country, call out the name of your child right now. Uh -huh. Sister Lori, Sister Lori sent me a message after church was over. This is less than an hour ago. She said, Pastor, my phone was on the fridge. We don't do this all the time, but it's consecration. So we're going to testify today. She, she said, I, I, the devil lost again. Well, that's enough, right? <laughs> she said, during prayer yesterday, this is her testimony. She can confirm it right here. I'm reading it. She said, during prayer yesterday, we were instructed to call out the names of our children. And by the time I made it in last night, there was a burden on me to pray again. And so I began praying and calling out my daughter's names again. She said, early this morning, I received a phone call from my daughter that drives a bus for the city of Chicago. And she said, last night, a drunk driver plowed into the bus that she was driving. <laughs> you ought to know that that's a sign that ain't how the story ends. She went to the hospital but was discharged and called me with the testimony. She's home, she's resting with no serious injuries and the enemy thought he was going to disrupt my consecration but he's a liar and a loser. I just need somebody to shout miracles, signs, wonders right now. Y'all really going to let that mama run by herself? When the devil tried to kill her baby last night, is that what y'all gonna do? Wait, 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 wait. Sister Nicole Finney. I think Sister Nicole was here at noon. Sister Nicole messaged me and said, hey pastor, I wanted to share my testimony. While we were in prayer yesterday, all of a sudden, I begin to get on the floor and call my son's name out. After prayer, I looked at my phone and he had called several times. I returned his call and he was crying on the phone stating that he had just had an accident. But when he found out I was in prayer, he said that prayer saved my life. The side of the car he was on was destroyed the car was totaled, and while I don't have a car, I do have my son. I just wish somebody would sell miracles, signs, wonders. I wish somebody would go up in praise, like this praise is going ahead of you, and blocking every obstacle in your way. I want you to send up a praise that's going to cover your family this week. These are your announcements. Cover your 
myself accordingly. I need you to put a praise on the floor for what God's about to do this week for your family. Can I give him one more? Let me give one more. Let me give one more. Sister Courtney. Sister Courtney's not here. Jonathan, Sister Courtney had to leave to Florida uh, for an emergency Friday because her niece, 26 years old, uh, was on life support and uh, they were saying her niece wasn't going to make it. I, I need to read this to you. And listen to me, while I'm reading these other folks' testimonies, I need you putting your name in the blank. Okay. She messaged me and said, now this was on yesterday, she said, Pastor, the Lord gave us a little more time and a lot of grace and favor. The doctor said they have to do the procedure a few more times to see if it works. And here's what she said. She said, I don't know about the procedure, but I do know that the blood still works. She said, we should know something by Monday. But at first, they weren't even going to try, but prayer changes things. Now listen to what she said. She said, here's why we're shouting. 72 hours ago, they said there's nothing we can do for her. 48 hours ago, they said in 48 hours, we got to take off life support. 24 hours ago, they said, well, we do want to try one more thing. Then she said yesterday, today they said, we're going to keep trying because she's showing a sign of progress. Now wait, that was yesterday. But y'all just said, miracles, signs, wonders, that's what y'all said. So she messaged me, and I know she's shouting at home on the street. She messaged me today, Lord help me say it right, at 10.56 a.m. And the message was titled, Update on Ashley. Prophesy to somebody and tell them, neighbor, God's about to update your situation. Don't sit next to them next Sunday. Try that other neighbor, see if they try. Say, neighbor, the Holy Ghost said, He's about to update your situation. Hit refresh on your testimony. She said, update on Ashley. I feel like running. She said, they turned the oxygen down to 30% because she's breathing on her own now. They're weaning her off of the sedation and she started responding to verbal commands. She said four days ago, the doctor told us there was nothing to be done and it was likely she would die this weekend. But four days later, not only is she alive, but her lungs are doing what they need to do without the life support. What God said is greater than what the doctor said. I need everybody to find you a praise partner and just celebrate that God still works miracles.
their testimonies in this house. We gotta go. <laughs> I'm gonna see who's in the room. Let me hear you say, I, I'm living. So, guess what? Oh, I'm still alive. When did we get a tambourine choir? I don't know, but I like that. If you got one, play it. One more time, say, you know that I am a living testimony. You know that I could have been dead, but Lord, hey, I, let me see them symbols for the one back there. Oh, damn it, I'm still alive. 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 If you're glad to be alive, open your mouth and shout all over this building. Did you hear what I said? You dance with your feet, but you shout with your mouth. Open up your mouth and shout. Come on, lift up your voice, lift up your hands, lift up your heart. Lift up your hand, oh, your gates, come on. The healer's in the house. Woo. Be seated in the presence of the Lord. Miracles, signs, wonders, right now. After you have suffered for a little while, miracles, Signs, wonders, right now. Weeping may endure for a night. Miracles, signs, wonders, right now. Be not weary in well-doing for in due season. Miracles, signs, wonders, Just tell your Rosie right now. Tell somebody right now. Tell somebody right now. Come on, finance committee. It's offering time right now. Right now. Right now. Yeah. There's the singing the church I grew up in right now. Right now. Let the Savior bless your soul right now. Yeah. Right now. 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 I would talk to y'all, but y'all don't, I don't know if you have the faith for it. I don't know. I don't want to just be wasting declarations and wasting prophecy. But I just wonder, do I have maybe 10 of y'all in here that have enough faith to believe that by the time this service is over, that thing you've been praying about would have turned around? I don't know. Do I have? Do I, hey, come on. We've been in prayer. Do I have anybody that has enough faith to believe that before this service is over, I'm not waiting till the end of the year for this one. I ain't waiting till Pentecost Sunday. I ain't waiting till Easter. I ain't waiting till February. I got some right now stuff. And I serve a right now God. That's why I have a right now praise. <laughs> right now. It's going to be better. It's going to check your email when church is over. It's going to be better. Check your spam folder when church is over. It's going to be better. Hallelujah. He's doing it right now. While I'm praising in his house, he's working in my house. He's doing it right now. He's doing it. I said he's doing it right now. I said he's doing it right now. I said he's doing it right now. I said right now. Let 
bless your heart. God bless your heart. God bless your heart. Are they dancing back there? Oh, Lord. That's one of them. I need God to do it right now. That's one of them. I need God to do it right now kind of dances. Get what you need, Janae. That's one of them. Do it right now kind of dances. That's one of them. Do it right now kind of praises. Right now. Turn around. Hold it, Jew. Don't do that. Don't do that. Y'all sit down, y'all. We got to give. <laughs> y'all sit down. We got to give our offering. But some of y'all said, I brought an offering of praise today, too. I got my cash out, but I got my dance, too. I got my cash out, but I got to run, too. I got my cash out, but I got to leap, too. I got my... You better dance, Landon. You better dance, Landon. You better dance, Landon. You better dance. I like that. This is that which was prophesied. Let the children praise you. Let the next generation praise you. Let your seed praise you. Let you on the right road. I like that. That's how church kids suppose to act. I like that. I like that. Some of you, you got more drug dealers in your family tree than deacons. But you ought to put a praise on the next generation. You ought to put a tag. You ought to celebrate what God's about to do. There's a turnaround coming. I like that. You got the Holy Ghost, you ought to show some signs. I like that. I like that. I like that, young people. We got to move. Pull your neighbor down. The dry people behind you can't see. Pull your neighbor down. <laughs> I like that. I wouldn't have a religion I couldn't feel sometimes. I like that. <laughs> Anything dead ought to be revived or buried. I like that. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Before you think about something else, God, dear, that you ain't shouted about yet. Come on, hold your mule till you think about something else, God, dear, that you ain't crazy for. But don't, don't mess around or think about another way he made. Because there are miracles in the house today. You better praise him, Pastor Davis. You owe it to him. You owe it to him. I said you owe it to him. You owe it to him. I owe God a praise. All right. Consecration, y'all. We gotta go. Get your time and offer together. Hey. There's, there's something finally breaking back there. I like that. I like that. Dance, man of God. Tell somebody, there's freedom over there. That's, that ain't no show praise. That's real. Tell somebody, say, neighbor, my faith says my situation just got updated. It is not what it was. Look again. It's not what it was. Check again. It's not what it was. Call again. It's not what it was. <laughs> <laughs> 